So my research project with Paul was investigating the TV ratings for NCAA Final Four basketball games. Um, so we wanted to know what drove consumer demand, what made people want to watch these games, certain games more than others. Um, and the big takeaway from this was that in college basketball, in March Madness especially, the average fan doesn't really care for the traditional powerhouse school like a Duke or Kentucky, UConn. Um, they'd rather watch a smaller school, a Cinderella, go all the way. That makes people more excited about college basketball. And that's a little bit different um, than professional sports where you know, the big market teams are usually the biggest draw. When you look at small teams, you know, they're not saying they want a free access into the, the, the highest levels of the tournament. They're saying, give us a chance, right? Give us a chance and if we can win, uh, people will be drawn to that story. We have this American spirit about us that always roots for the little guy. And so the college basketball really kind of shows that we want to cheer for the little guy. And that's kind of what our research focused on and was the big result. Um, of our research. So this research started in, in by our collaboration with the BYU Broadcasting. Uh, it's very unusual to, to, for, for academics to get the Nielsen data. The Nielsen data is wildly expensive um, and it's the property of advertisers and broadcasters who are trying to make those decisions. But one of the things that BYU students are known for when they apply to PhD programs in, in statistics is that they've had a, a, a research experience that most other students haven't. You know, I, when I first started working with them, I, I was a hard worker, but maybe my statistical skills weren't up to par, and so he kind of helped me through that, the initial stages. And then I've actually been able to learn things, like learn statistical, statistical concepts in our research before I even learned them in class, which has helped me in my master's program to uh, kind of get ahead of the schedule there. Um, different students have different degrees of that and I think uh, it does stand out when, when a student like Paul has a paper that he can point to and say, uh, pick me, a, I, I'm a good candidate not just for the program but for the research expectations. I'm, I know what I'm getting myself in for and I do it well.